Good morning. <clears throat> Off we go again. Good morning, Yarn and Bees. How are you today? I have a co-pilot. Right, Bailey? Yeah. Bailey has not been at the shop in probably a week. And she is so excited to be going. Aren't you? Yeah. She's, uh, she was just barreling out of the house at top speed. <laughs> Almost took me out, you know. Oh, it was funny. But um, yeah, I didn't have her at the shop while it was hot. And yeah, I guess the last day I took her was Friday, Thursday or Friday, um, before the, the um, fair or the market. Uh, so yeah. Oh God, ow. So yeah, it's, uh, she's really excited to be going. <laughs> she had a bath this morning. So she's all smelling pretty and ready to go. Yeah, aren't you? Yeah. So, um, oh, the ferry traffic just came out. Um, so what have I got to talk to you about? I I made a premier yarn order, which is something I haven't done in God four years maybe three years something like that. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's been a long time. Um, and I did that because I wanted to make the the new MJ. MJ off the hook just put out a her rendition kind of sort of of the Swifty dress except she did it in like granny squares going down the front and the back and I really liked the way like the colors that she did so she used prism yarn I didn't order the prism yarn I ordered the <laughs> oh gosh what the heck oh it's got the color vivid prime uh, um, oh. yeah I, I can't remember <laughs> my brain's just not working right now so wow these traffic these people are just morons they just do not know how to drive. Um, yeah, so anyway, I got some variegated yarns that, yeah, there's the lava. Um, I got some lava coming. That's the yarn that I did that baby sweater a couple years ago with the, babe, with the bumps. Oh, it was beautiful. Oh, this chick's going to go right through the red light. Wow. Holy. Unbelievable. Um, yeah, so anyway. I have that stuff coming. I don't even know when it's going to get here. They usually take like three weeks to get here. That's crazy. But I did notice that they have free shipping to Canada now. Who knew? Uh, it's been a long time because man it was I'm gonna have to pay duties I think oh, excuse me. Oh. yeah I'm gonna have probably have to pay taxes and duties but I'm okay with that because I didn't have to pay for shipping so that will make up the money for uh, you know it'll, it'll even itself out but um, yeah, so I can't wait to get started on that. I went on her website and copy and pasted into Word the pattern. I'll leave that link down below. Uh, what else? Oh, huh. I decided for a video. I'm going. I I I did a thing. I ordered some yarn off of Amazon, which is something I've never done. 
um, Amazon's prices. I even looked on uh, eBay and Timu. I think I ordered some off Timu too. Uh, so that I could do like a, you know, was it worth it kind of thing. <clears throat> so I've got that coming. So that'll be an upcoming video. I haven't done anything like that in a long time because I haven't really bought yarn. I haven't done any yarn hauls or anything since I opened my shop, really. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Um, what else? What else, Bailey? I can actually tie George down I wouldn't mind doing a video with him soon um, oh Terry took over the shop for me for a few days and I feel so much better um, although I, I was getting a little too used to being at home I didn't want to get out of bed or out of the. I didn't want to leave. <laughs> Just like, that. but you know what? I I started to realize that, like, when I was sitting on the couch crocheting, I was actually in quite a bit of pain. My my hips. Something's going on with my hips. My left leg. I still have that pain down my left leg. It's not sciatica. I don't know what it is. Um, not a blood clot so I, I just don't know it's the middle part of my thigh on the side and I don't know if it's a pinched nerve or what's going on I know there's something nasty going on with my hips and uh, so that's been going on since February and it's I think it's due to the fall that I had but yeah, I just, I can't lay on my left side without it hurting. And I can't even sit on the couch. If I'm on my left side just a slight bit, the pain's unbelievable. So, oh, oh sorry guys. Oh man, this road construction. Oh God, there's a cop. Hang on. But pretty fast. Anyway, I gotta get my Timmy's hang on. Okay, got my coffee, got my yogurt. All is good in the world. Still put my this in my yogurt. Um, yeah, so anyway. Oh, I guess I better close this. So yeah, while I was gone, there's a lady, or well, young lady, who my niece knows. She's a friend of my niece, and their boys have play dates. Um, and she, I didn't know this, but this girl, lady. She makes um, homemade soap and bath bombs and all that kind of stuff. So my niece told her, you know, hey, you should go and talk to my aunt. She has a, um, a shop in Shimanus. And see if, you know, she'd like to put your stuff in her shop. So she came in a few days ago before I went on my little um, before I hid from the world for a little while <laughs> and she was talking to me about it and I said abs she didn't even get the words out and I said absolutely yes um, and it wasn't even it wasn't even because she was a friend of my niece it was because I've had people <coughs> <coughs> excuse me <coughs> oh my <coughs> I've had people asking me for soap and if I carry soap and I've been sending them to everybody else 
So now I'm sitting here thinking, why am I sending them to everybody else when I could have my my own um, supply at the shop? Right? So she apparently she has a whole bunch of different stuff that she does. And I'm so excited about it. But she came in with this, she brought a sample box and she came in when I wasn't there. So she left it with Terry and her and Terry put, put it on the shelf. So Terry sent me a message and said, guess what I've got? And I was like, oh, I bet the shop smells so good. She says, yes it does. I'm like, I'm so jealous. <laughs> she gets to sit there and smell it and I don't. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, yeah, so I'm going to go and smell it. Not in a creepy way, but, you know, I'm going to go and sniff all the goods. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm totally excited about that. I'm going to, um, there's a shelf that's right by my desk, and I'm going to clean off the whole section for her. Hopefully she will bring in more stuff. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm so excited. Yay. And then my the lady that I rent the space from, uh, Liz, she had a lady in her other store that made CBD creams and stuff. And I'm just waiting for her to contact me and let me know if that lady wants to put her stuff in my shop. So, yeah. So I got things going on. Right, Bailey? Yeah. Bailey's going, okay, are we going to eat breakfast or what? So, I'm going to go and uh, I'll talk to you in the shop. I'll show you what my latest thing is that I possibly might do a tutorial. I keep saying, I'm going to probably do a tutorial on it. And I had three days where I could have started started a tutorial. You know what? Some, my jaw, I tell you guys, when I'm talking, I bit my tongue, the side of my tongue, so bad yesterday. Now it's really sore. Um, you know, once you bite your tongue or you bite your cheek or something, then you continually do it. Ugh. Anyway, okay, I'm going to go and eat my brekkie, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. Oh my god, you guys. I just came to my Walmart. They just rearranged the whole store. Look at our yarn section now. That's it. Right there. You got to be kidding me. It's like six feet wide. That's it. There's a little bit of stuff down here, but that's it. What the hell? I'm in shock. Wow, this is crazy. It's no wonder people are pissed off. But they have the lollipop. This is what I came in for. $9.98. Oh. So, this is. Hmm. This is just acrylic, right? I don't see where it tells you. Come on, really? Acrylic and what is that? What is that? Acrylic and what? Nylon. Okay, good. <laughs> That's really pretty. Okay, so I've been seeing everybody getting this. This is actually really nice. Let me know in the comments if you guys have used this yet. Um, oh, that's weird. It's like 
all different strands together. Oh, look at this. That's one strand that's got one, two, three, four, five, six strands in it. Is that right? That can't be right. That's just the way it's wound. That's gotta be the way it's wound. Am I going crazy? Huh. Okay, that's bizarre. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. So there's... Uh, hmm. Not very many colors. But there's a white. <gasps> Look, they have white. Yay! Okay. Well, cream, I guess it is. And they've got this color. And they have the pink. I want to get two of those. We've got the blue. And another one of those. And that's it. Holy cow. Like even the Colorama Halo, they don't have very many of that either. Oh my god, you guys. Like there's a few things up here. But that's that. That's it. Okay, so that was a whole lot of shock. I knew that it was bad at Walmart, excuse me, Walmart, it has been for a lot of years, but that was shocking. I cannot even, I have no words. I have no words. When I was checking out, I asked the guy, I says, are you guys getting rid of the yarn department or what's happening? He says, no, no, no. He says, we'll get it back. Everything will be fine. And I'm going, <laughs> okay. They're completely revamping the store. They've swapped the whole thing. They put the food on, one, on the one side and then they put the everything else on the other side whereas that was the other way around before so I was totally messed up but yeah that was that was horrendous <sighs> very sad let me know in the comments like what's happening with your Walmarts is are they revamping your Walmart um, how is your yarn department because, wow, that's bad. That's really bad. Um, so yeah, I got, I got three of the white. That's all they had. And then I got three of this color, whatever this color is. <laughs> I don't even see it right now. Um, so that is going to be a really nice sweater. <clears throat> really nice sweater. That stuff is so cool. I am absolutely in love with it. I might not be in love with it when I work with it, but who knows? Because that it was weird the way they, they wound it. It looks like there's all those strands make up one strand. But I don't think that's the way it is. I don't know. I have to I'll have to look at it when I get it undone. Because that's bizarre. But it's gorgeous. It's it's even softer, that, the white one's not, but this one is just as soft as the latte cake. Like, it's soft. The halo is not, it's, it's a different kind of halo. It's like a fuzz halo, it's weird. I'm not sure how that's gonna wash up, but I think I heard somebody say it was, I think, Angela for my precious yarn, precious yarnery um, I think she said that it was it can go in the wash but you had to lay it flat or something <clears throat> care instructions machine wash cold do not bleach dry flat yeah who does that Nobody does that, do they? 
I'm gonna have to ask Angela when she makes something if when she put it in the in the dryer oops sorry if she put it when she put it in the dryer what happened to it you know because with latte cakes you're not supposed to put latte cakes in the dryer either but I do but I would put it on delicate and it seems to be okay um, but yeah hmm. I'm not sure what I'm gonna make with this but it's gonna be something wearable for sure it's a cuddly cuddly kind of uh, yarn I'm gonna look and check with my wholesaler to find out if this is a it's a main it's mainstay Mainstay is a Walmart brand, so I might not be able to get it in wholesale. Dang, dang it. That's how they get you. That's how they totally get you because they say, haha, you can only get it here. Na 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 boo boo. So, but yeah, it's gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. If you like fluffy yarn like that. A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't like the um, halo and stuff like that. <laughs> but man, I would cuddle up to this stuff all day long. So, yeah. So we'll s figure out what we're going to make with it. Ooh. No. I was going to say maybe the MJ off the hook dress, but that would be too heavy. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay. Okay. Good morning, Yarnabies. Oh, whoops. Okay, we're having issues with my hair right now. I just got out of the shower. <laughs> so, how are you? Um, it's been a bit of a weekend, hasn't it? Wow. Okay, so Trump got shot. Wow. Shannon Doherty died. It's all hell's breaking loose. Unbelievable. Um, I'm at home, obviously, and I'm crocheting. Uh, it's, I don't even know what time it is. Maybe 7.30? Nope. It's 8 o'clock already. <clears throat> and uh, I'm just relaxing, having a coffee. George is in Victoria. <clears throat> He's paddling, dragon boat paddling down there. Uh, for those of you that are new, Crochet B, my husband, he um, he's a dragon boat paddler. I used to be. A lot of people ask me what a dragon boat is I actually have a video on my channel if I can if I can remember I'll link it up here um, and I used to be so I you know we would travel all over the place and and paddle so he's down there doing that racing which is good because he needs that release um, that energy release he's he works his guts out, so he needs to have some fun. <clears throat> um, I finished. Oh, I didn't. I didn't bring it over. Turn it. Finished that bolero, um, but it needs a. What do you call it? Clippy thing. So I hold it closed. I was thinking about um, getting a you know a clip that goes on either side and it's got the chains yeah I was thinking about that so <clears throat> I don't know yet the original pattern for that I didn't use a pattern for that I just kind of was winging it it's my own pattern but the original pattern for it they had two long um, strands strands what do you call them ropes whatever and she had them wrap around your waist 
I didn't like that much. So I decided to um, just have it open like how and then have um, something on the bottom. <clears throat> so now that I'm thinking about it, was I supposed to put a hood on that? I don't know. I'm not doing that. So but it, it looks cute. Um, not for me, of course. Because I'm too big of a woman <laughs> to wear something like that. But, yeah. Um, I now, instead of finishing the other product projects that I've been doing, I'm starting a new one. Why? Because I was desperately wanting to use this new Karen, or sorry, uh, Mainstay cake. The lollipop cake that I got. Um, and you know what? To be honest, I'm kind of loving this stuff. I was a bit shocked because if you look at it, it reminds me of Hold on. Cloud cakes. Because of the texture. You can see that. Now, cloud cakes. I love cloud cakes. When you're frogging it, though, it frogs nicely, but sometimes it gets kind of caught up a little bit. Um, so... Yeah, uh, but this stuff has more of a halo on it, so let's see, let's see the difference, the halo is <laughs> way bigger, <coughs> excuse me, so in honesty, I thought this was going to be a nightmare, it's not, if you're gentle with it, and you don't just rip real hard. Um, it's very easy to frog. Um, the, where's the other one? Hey, we, where the heck? You know, I tell, did, Bailey, did you steal my yarn? Ah, good grief. This is the other lollipop, the white one. See that halo on there? Yeah. I wasn't sure. I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, because the Karen Latte cakes, as much of a halo as they have on it, it's fairly easy to frog. But this stuff really looked like it was going to catch up on itself and mat. It didn't. I was in shock. And then I was in love. <laughs> I was like, oh, thank God. If I have to frog this, it it's not going to be so hard. See, I'll show you. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I'm, I'm really really loving this so i decided i was trying to figure out what what to make and i decided that i was going to go back into my tutorials because i originally i wanted to do one of angela for my precious yarnery i wanted to do one of her tutorials and god she's got a lot of tutorials i didn't i don't know how i missed some of those <clears throat> but she, she She's, yeah, she's amping up on her tutorials. Holy cow. Um, I went back and I went in to look at my tutorials, which I don't have as many. Huh? I've been too busy. Um, and I thought, I'm going to go back and do one of mine. Because usually I will make a tutorial, I'll make the garment, and then I won't make it again. It's kind of a one-off for me. Unless I really, really like 
the product. Most of the time it's a one-off. <clears throat> so I, I went back and I found my tutorial for the Purple Haze sweater. That sweater, I, I have to admit, I really liked that sweater. I really did. It was textured and it was, um, it was fun to make. And it sold really fast. <laughs> But um, I decided that I'm going to try and make that with this yarn, which is going to be really interesting because by the looks of this yarn already, and I kind of had a feeling, this looks like, um, I can't, I, mm. <clears throat> it looks like it's going to be thick, but it's not. It's just the halo that's on it. It's going to be a really different look. So in the, the, the original Purple Haze sweater, I believe I used black and I used another color <clears throat> for the base. I'm pretty sure. So I decided that this color, which is, what is this color? Did I ever tell you what this color was? <laughs> Where's the color? Earth Mist. That seems like a pretty good, a pretty good uh, rendition of, I really love this. It's going to be so nice. So I'm going to use that as, <coughs> oops, as the base color. And then I'm going to use the, what, the cream color for the, the, there's peaks and valleys in this, in this pattern. So this is going to be the accent, which is something that I haven't done before because I usually, I take the variegated color or the darker color and use that as my accent color to make it pop more, to make it stand out. So I thought I'm going to do the reverse and uh, see how it goes. So that's what I'm doing today. I have to go to the shop today. Today's Sunday. And, um, and I'm just... Not feeling it today. I don't know. Not feeling it. But I think it's the heat. It's been so bloody hot here f for the last few days. And they say that it's not going to get much cooler for the next week. Ugh. <clears throat> so, yeah. So I am going to get ready to go to work. I can't remember if there's anything else I want to talk. Oh, uh, I'll show you the, um, no, I won't because I'm not going to be taking it to the shop. I'll show you the Bolero now. I had to come into my other room. So I had more room to show it to you. <clears throat> okay, ready? Here it is. Okay. So it's the arms. Whoops. The arms and the little jacket piece. So I'm thinking I'm going to put the little thing. Let me put it on. Let me get a better idea. I mean, it doesn't fit me properly because I've got boobage and everything, but <clears throat> there it is. So I'm going to put the little clasp here, I think, and have the chains go. And I'm going to have a brooch of some sort on here, but... <clears throat> So it doesn't go with what I'm wearing, but, um, yeah. So there you go. <sighs> It'll be good for somebody who's thinner, that has less boobage. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> yeah. 
I'm thinking about doing a tutorial on this if you guys want it because this tutorial would be fairly easy for me to do. So, and I just found an end. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this would be a fairly easy tutorial. Um, so let me know if you're interested. This would be really cute as a, like a kid's, if you made it smaller, it would look really cute on a little girl, I think. Um, so yeah. Okay, I'm going to go to work now. Yay, fun. <laughs> Hi, yarn bees. Okay, so it's been a bit of a day. Um, I look a mess, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I got home from work, and I had a bath, and I just got out, and yeah. So I wanted to show you the project that I'm working on right now with this. Uh, where is it? This is the lollipop that I was telling you guys about. So squishy. Okay, so the white lollipop is different. Different than the other. This stuff is, you know, a couple strands put together. Oops, if I can get a hold of it. See, it's kind of like thready but when you crochet with it you don't really notice that too much but this this stuff is totally different it's um it's very thready like like it's yeah um yeah but that's okay because I keep like you can see it like pretty good on Maybe not. Um, it's like the threads on it are kind of like that. So I have to keep yeah, um, pulling the yarn so that I don't accidentally put my hook where it's not supposed to be. But I have to say, I'm really liking these two together. This pattern is my um, Purple Haze sweater. It's in my, uh, what do you call it, playlist. I have some, For those of you that don't know, I have some, uh, some tutorials uh, in my playlist. And the Purple Haze sweater I did in purple. <laughs> but I am now doing it in these colors. And here it is. Isn't that cool? I just, I'm loving this. Now, when you have the sweater on, that's the way it looks, right? Um, I, I'm really loving the way it's turning out. I wasn't quite sure if the white was going to show up really well. Um, I thought it was going to kind of get lost in this stuff, but it didn't. It actually pops really well. So I'm excited. And it's it's so light and airy. I'm I'm in shock. Um, yeah, like it's really light and airy. This one isn't going to be quite as long as the original. Um, the original one was a long cardigan. This one's going to be just past the bum, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But. Yeah, I'm I'm loving this. I am loving this. I mean, Heather Crochet Witch, she would love these colors. Um, yeah. So I am I'm stoked. I am really stoked because this is light enough to be a spring and fall kind of sweater. It, you could even wear this in the summer uh, on the cool night, and it would be. It would be good. I'm so stoked. Maybe I'm actually have my sweater. Every time I make something and I'm like, I'm going to make this for me. It ends up not being for me. <laughs> so maybe, possibly, this will actually be for me. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. And I just dropped my stitch. Oh, I hate that. should have put a stitch marker in it. 
<sighs> so anyway, um, yeah, so I'm really excited about this. And the, the only difference that I did on this one than the original is on all the, like the, where the browns are, that is supposed to be done in the back loop. Like on each row, there's four rows in here of half double crochets. It was supposed to be in the back loop, but with this yarn, I just did not want to fiddle fart <laughs> around with that. Um, and with this white being as thready as it is, no. So I just did half double crochets. So it does look different uh, than the original. But that's okay. I'm I'm actually loving this. I'm really loving this. So, yeah. So if you do that tutorial, just don't do it in the back loop. Right? Just do your four rows of half double crochet. And then your drop stitch row. And you're good to go. So I'm going to go and keep going on this and see how far I can get. Okay, guys, uh, that's it for this video. I'm, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was hoping to get this out, this video out today, but like today is Monday, uh, but I'm not going to be able to do that. So it will be out on Wednesday. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I missed a day. So, okay. I love you all, and I will talk to you soon. Okay. Bye.